What's up guys? Daniel Elias Fishing here. Today I'm going to share with you what is probably the most effective way to rig a soft plastic swim bait that the pros generally won't tell you about. So I'm really excited to get into this. First of all, hit that like and subscribe button down there. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Maybe you've seen this. Maybe you haven't, but I want to hear about it. And what's really cool, let's just dive right into it. I'm going to pull out a swim bait. Uh, this is a Berkeley Paddling Power Stinger. Um, really, really great swim bait, by the way. Soft swim bait. Similar to a lot of stuff on the market. I like this one. But how do people generally rig them? I mean, you've got a couple options. I mean, number one, you could grab a, you know, a weedless uh, swim bait hook with a screw lock on it and just kind of rig it up Texas style, um, you know, which is very effective when it's going through trees or grass. Um, the benefit to that is it's weedless. Uh, you don't have to worry about hanging it up. The downside is you miss a lot of fish on it, um, but it's still, it can be a great way to rig a swim bait when you need it in trees. The second most common way you will see is with a jig head. You know, just a swim bait head, hook goes through, comes out the top, uh, and you can throw it just like that. You can bounce it along the bottom. You can put it on an umbrella rig, which I do a lot with this bait. Uh, but what I'm going to show you today is a trick that many of you have probably not seen, but it can really increase your hookup ratio and your landing ratio on soft plastic swim baits, and it's pretty versatile. So I want to show you this product. It's pretty cool. Straight out of Japan. They're made by a company called Valley Hill. They call it a trebling through pipe whatever that means, trebling through pipe. But essentially what it is, and hopefully you can see this, is it is a piece of plastic that's hollow in the middle, right? Almost like a straw. And it has bait keepers on there so we can put it in a swim bait and it stays in place. Now, we used to do this with old, you know, coffee or cocktail uh, straws, the real thin ones that we would try to shove through baits. They didn't always work great. They'd fall out a lot. We'd try to figure out how to super glue them in and then occasionally you'd get super glue in the hole and it wasn't usable. The nice thing with these is they are ready to go. So all you really need to do is take your swim bait, take this through pipe. You need to figure out where you're going to put it in and you need to figure out where you want it to come out in the belly. So the best way to do that is to line it up like such and really plan out hey where is it going to go in where does it need to come out and i try to remember that in my head i just mark where i want that to come out in the bottom and then basically you're going to stick it in now the important thing is is you put it dead center where it needs to go right in the middle and it comes out dead center if you have it in there sideways it's going to run a little messed up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how that's done here and I'm just going to shove it straight through, planning the whole time where I want it to come out, making sure that I keep it straight, and it's going to exit out the bottom, and you want to make sure that you push it all the way up into the nose. So if you look at this bait now, that thing is dead center in the middle of the nose. Now, you can't even see it in there, but it's coming out right in the belly okay now all you're gonna do is you take your line and you're gonna take that line and you slide it through the nose that's why I need my glasses but you slide it through the nose and it comes out the belly like that right and then you're gonna try tie on a treble hook on this side so I'm gonna show you what that looks like real quick um, and let me get this treble on there but you slide it in, you got your hook coming out the belly right now. And all you do is find on your hook, there's going to be one side, and this is a Berkley Fusion treble hook, that is in line with that line tie. The other sides, it comes off a little bit crooked, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And you take that point that lines up with the line tie, you pull it forward, and you just kind of plan out where you want to stick that treble hook in and just like we did on the other ones you sink it all the way in and you've got a swim bait that's now rigged up 
with a treble hook on the bottom. Okay, so the benefit to this is when you're swimming it, number one, the action is incredible on this thing. It just comes through, you get that perfect head wag and tail wag, but when you get those fish that come up and swipe at the bait, you're gonna hook them on that treble hook, right? So really, really awesome way that you can use that to rig up a soft plastic swim bait, but don't be limited to just paddle tails, right? Another one of my favorites, and this is in the same color, um, is, a, is a Berkley Ghillie, okay? So this is a Berkley Ghillie. This is also an HD Bluegill. It's one of my favorite colors, by the way. But you do the same thing. You can take that trebling line through pipe and push it through, again, making sure that you keep it straight, and you're gonna come out right in the belly or the chin, wherever it makes sense to you. Push it all the way in. So again, I've got that seated in there and it's coming out the bottom. And you're gonna do the same thing for the sake of time. I'm gonna take this one that I already tied on and slip it in backwards. But you're gonna come out the nose. Okay, so now you got the treble down there again. Take that point that lines up. And what I like to do is kind of fold it in and see, okay, where exactly does that hook need to go where it's gonna make sense? And then I'll take it and I run it dead center right where I was planning and sink it all the way down. So now you've got same deal, a Berkeley Gilly rigged up with a treble hook on the bottom that you can swim up and around and over stuff, right? I mean, it's not gonna be the most weedless presentation, but you're certainly going to get far better hookups rigging a swim bait this way than if you were to rig it weedless or with a jig head. I mean, the ghillie traditionally, um, you know, you can run a weedless hook kind of through the side here. And although it's side rigged, it still swims straight. Um, it's a great way to rig them. I've caught tons and tons of fish like that. This way, if you don't have a lot of trees, is even better. So give it a shot, guys. I think you're really going to like these things. Trebling through pipes is what they're called. They can be hard to find. I picked these up at um, uh, Copper State Tackle, but they have them on the internet. Check them out. Give them a shot. Let me know what you think. Hope this helps you guys. Thanks for liking and subscribing, leaving those comments, and I'm going to see you on the next one.